Hey guys, and welcome back to Hope Kids. I'm Kelsey. I'm Fabian. And we're so excited to hang out with you guys today. Now we've got a memory verse for you today, a few fun games. One of them is a review game wow. to see how much you remembered from the teaching on Sunday. So before we get started, we wanted to give you guys the memory verse for the day. It goes like this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And you can find that memory verse in John 3, 16. All right, you ready to show them the game? I'm ready, yeah. All right, let's do it. Hey friends, now we're gonna do a word puzzle. We're gonna use the words from a Bible verse and we're gonna stick them onto a scroll. We'll see if we can get them in the right order. We're gonna take blue and we're gonna stick them on. Hello, how are you doing? Who are you? I'm Harry, who are you? I'm Kaylee. Hi Kaylee. We're about to do a word puzzle, would you like to join? What kind of word puzzle? A Bible verse word puzzle. Really? I love the Bible, I've memorized all of it. That's great. Okay, maybe you can help me. Of course. Okay, so the verse is, I think it goes for God at the beginning. Do you think that's right? Mm, that sounds right. Okay, let's stick that on. Perfect. And then, do you think it's the? Mm, no. No? Do you think it's so loved? Yes. That sounds right. I remember that. Okay, let's try that. For God so loved. Mm, what do you think comes next? Do you now think it's the? That sounds right. Let's try it. For God so loved the. Wow! <gasps> yes, that's right. Let's put that one on. For God so loved the world, his only, is that right? No. No? Need something else. Do you think it's John? No. Oh. That's where it is. And John. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, for God so loved the world, that? he? Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Maybe gave? Yes. Yes. Because God is gracious, He gives us things. Let's see if we got it again. For God so loved the world, He gave. Why do I that left? Son, His only, 316 and John. His only. I think I'm you're right. For. I think you're right. You're really good at this. Thank you. I practiced. And I think next is sun. Do you think that's right? That's correct, yes. And let's check again. For God so loved the, the world, world, he gave his, his only, only son. son. Now do you think it's John? Yes. Let's stick that on. And then it's 316. Yep, that's the last one we John have. John 316. Do you want to say it together? Sure. For God so loved the world, He gave His only Son. John 3.16. Well done, guys. Woo. So our next game is going to be a review game that includes target practice. So before we can start target practice, we need to make something to throw out the target. So what you need in order to do this is a pair of socks, one of different colors if you have them, some hair ties, and some rice. This is how we're going to make them. You're going to take the sock and open it up, and then you're going to fill it up with rice. Now it takes quite a bit of rice, so just make sure you've got plenty. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a hair tie and you're going to close it off. Just like that. Then we're going to take the second one and do the same thing.
There we go. Then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bunch it up into a ball. And tie it off. And these are what we're going to use to throw at our targets. So they should look like this once you've filled them with rice. So the next thing and the final step that you're going to do is you're going to take the excess part of the sock and you're just going to wrap it around to make it a little bit more of a round shape. And this keeps it even more secure so that you don't lose any of the extra rice inside. There we go. Perfect. All right, you ready to play? Yep, let's do it. So now we're gonna play a review game. This is to help to see how much you just remembered from last Sunday's story. So we're gonna take these two little bean bags that we've made and we're gonna throw them at the target. So all the targets have different numbers on them. And so we need to aim for these different numbers. If I hit with my bean bag number two, then Shenny is gonna read off question number two and I have to guess the answer. If I get the answer right, I get a point. If I get the answer wrong, then it's the next person's turn and I don't get a point. All right, so me and Kaylee are gonna to play today. Let's do it. All right, number one. True or false? In the beginning, did God make everything perfect and create us in his image? Yes. That is true, that's correct. Yes. Six. Kaylee, true or false? Does sin make God stop loving us? No, it doesn't. That's correct, it's a false. Four. True or false, Kelsey? The result of sin is love. False. That is correct. Cool. Two. Kaylee, what does God want to have with us? God wants to have a relationship with us. That is correct. Three. Kelsey, who were the first people to sin and break our relationship with God in our perfect world? My mom and dad? No, that's incorrect. Who was it? It was Adam and Eve. Ah, uh, that's right, Adam and Eve. All right, so I've still got two points. Next time. Five. Kaylee, what was the name of God's son who came to the world? Jesus. That is correct. All right, so I had two points. How many did you get? I had three. Oh. Well, I think Kaylee is our winner here. Well done, Kaylee. Thank you. Let's see who wins next week. Hey kids, now we're gonna be doing the song that we did for the last week. We're gonna be doing Shipwrecked. Let's see if you can remember. All right, well that's all we've got for you guys today, but we had a lot of fun hanging out with you, didn't we? Yeah, really. Yeah, awesome. So we'll see you guys next week at the exact same time, Thursday, 4.30. We'll see you then. See you soon.